Hi, this is Wendy with Scrap Supply, and today we're going to talk about transparencies. Our first example, we're using an adhesive backed ink jet printable transparency sold at Scrap Supply, and I simply used Microsoft Word, printed my journaling on a transparency, trimmed out, and I'm going to add it as a last touch to my layout. It goes right down because it already has the adhesive on the back. You won't see any adhesive marks and you don't have to worry about what kind of adhesive to use, which is, I think, one of the biggest problems with using transparencies. As you can see, it fits right in. I don't have to have a 12-inch printer or even do this before I create the layout. I can do it as a last touch. This project is beautiful in its finished state. It's a butterfly with um, two extra layers of wings made from transparencies. I use two different digital kits available at Scrap Supply from Zamp. This is from the structure, it's a grid. And then I printed one of her patterned papers on a transparency. And I went to myro.com and printed out the butterfly template and outlined it and cut them out. So I have two transparencies that match this butterfly coaster that I'm putting glue on right now. So you trace out the butterfly, add the paper, it all lines up and fits perfectly. I'm using a brayer to smooth out the glue and then I use a basic gray file to smooth the edges. Once it's dry and sanded, you can see it's really firmly adhered and has smooth edges. I'm going to add some shading and dimension to the bottom layer, the chipboard layer, by applying ink with a dauber brush. I want the wings to fold upwards, so because transparencies aren't like paper, they're a little bit different, I cut a small slit in the center of each butterfly layer on the transparencies, not all the way through, um, about, about an inch or three quarters of an inch long, and scored it so that the wings would fold more easily. This is a gold leaf paint pen, and I'm outlining the yellow printed layer of the transparency with the gold. Now it's a shimmering edge that can really catches the light. This is a background swirl stamp and I'm applying white acrylic paint with a foam brush to control how much paint we put on. We don't want to gum it up. Press the stamp into the grid printed layer of the butterfly transparency. Peel it off. And now I'm adding a crystal glitter glue to add a lot of shine around the edge and on the swirls. These are some beads I had from a Christmas project and I strung them on a wire to create the butterfly body. And then I added some beads around the edge of the gold with, um, and just adhered them with diamond glaze. When I assembled the butterfly I used pop-up glue dots. I just rolled them on my fingers and stuck them between the layers of the transparencies not only to hold them to each other but also to raise the wings up. You'll see here in a minute how they just they stay elevated with those glue dots rolled in between. The only thing is you do have to remember to wait for the glue, the glitter glue, the paint, the beads, everything has to dry before you can assemble your butterfly. When you separate the layers, you really allow the shimmering and the shining, the, the glitter glue and the beads to all shine and, and show through. This is E6000 adhesive, and I'm using it to apply the beaded body. You need a firm adhesive, and you really have to let this dry before you go further with this project. After I had assembled my butterfly, I realized that I wanted to hide those glue dots, so I took a sheet of the tea box butterflies from K & Company, and I cut one of the butterflies in half and added a wing to each side under that top layer, and it covers the uh, glue dots that were in there, so you can't see them anymore. And this is the finished butterfly. This can be added to a frame that you mount on the wall with a layout inside or the front of an album or even just stood up on a shelf for display. One of the other fun things about a transparency is painting from underneath. I use stays on ink and I stamp on the rough side of the transparency. The first project we're creating a border. This will go along the edge of a photo. 
we use the stamp and majig tool to line up the border stamp. And I flip the transparency over and I'm painting from the back. So my, the edges of my paint won't be visible, only the filled areas. This is the front of transparency and just the hint of color shows through. You don't have to be a perfect artist when you use this technique because the stamped image covers up the edges of your paint. On the top of the image, now that the paint is dry, I'm adding red glitter glue stickles to add shine and dimension like little shiny berries along this border. And it, it adds a lot of shimmer and color to an otherwise plain stamp. This is the same technique. I'm painting on the reverse of the stamped image. I stamped using stays on ink, flipped it over, and started painting and filling in the areas that were open. Even though her coat was a solid stamp, I went ahead and filled it in with purple paint. And now I'm uh, using the paper piercer to scrape the area that has her sleeve so it's more visible that there's a sleeve there. You trim it out and you don't have to be perfect because it's clear, it's a transparency. And I made a simple little A2 sized note card from Basil Scalloped Cardstock and added some KI Memories dotted paper. And that was both of those, the paper and the cardstock, were an older item. And I layered the stamped painted girl on top. These are journaling strips that we sell at Scrap Supply, and I love them because you can print any color, any font. It's really handy. And I'm just cutting apart the words and using my paper piercer to place them exactly. I used a yellow text box in Microsoft Word, so I had a yellow background, but they come in white only and I used one of the Scrap Supply fonts designed by Kelly Perky because it has a fun playful feel and it says a little something on the front and inside we say to thank you I really like the way the painted transparency looks it has a very finished appearance. It doesn't look like I stamped it. It doesn't look like I painted it because the edges of the stamped image cover up your painting technique. This is another stamped image I stamped on a transparency. I used yellow paint in the tiny little border and filigree area and then I added a strip of blue polka dot paper to back the main text of the stamp of the, the stamped image. This is the stuff that life is made of. This is a Fontworks journaling stamp. And when I used it on the layout, it felt just right there in the corner. It fit in. It, it's not something that you're going to say, oh, that's a transparency. When you look at it, you're going to say, what is that? How'd you do that? It looks really great. It looks like a finished item that you bought.